in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Our live mass cam shot uh, from Cavanaugh's Field, where we're going to hear from uh, Allen and Chelsea in a little bit. Take a look at that field. It looks pretty good over there, although there is some rain in the area, at least not at Cavanaugh's. Our uh, Friday Night Fever football forecast looks like this. And although we do have showers in the area now, they will be ending by the time the games get started around 7.30 tonight. Not as warm, courtesy of our weak front, as temperatures drop from the low 80s into the 70s and a north-northeast wind at 6 to 12 miles an hour. We do have a weather alert for a flood warning on the Noasis River. We haven't had this in a long time. That water is going to feed into Lake Corpus Christi and boost the uh, levels there of our reservoir. Of course, that's the smaller of the two reservoirs, but it will help out in our overall combined system capacity down the road. It'll start in Catula, then go to uh, Tilden, and then three rivers down the road. We do have, for the fifth day in a row, scattered showers and thunder showers in the area. The activity has gotten very heavy out to the west from Live Oak County all the way uh, back into McMullen County and southwest towards Laredo. Freer, you're included in that, uh, in Duval County. And now heavy rain up around Refurio. If there's a game in Refurio tonight, uh, along 77 there north towards uh, Victoria, that's going to be a problem, at least temporarily. Every other heavier activity around Sinton has diminished to just light showers. He's also seen it pour in Cal Allen and Robstown, but that has since moved off. It looks like most of this is going to miss the city with the exception of a sprinkle. Big surprise that I said that, right? All right, uh, west of Robstown now seeing the rain, and west of Driscoll and Bishop. This is headed southwest at about 15 miles an hour. And again, most of the rain this week has been moving northwest. This is headed southwest. And look at all this heavy activity out here to the west. Again, that's moving away from the city and uh, much of the region with uh, still some pretty heavy thunder showers moving in on Refurio right now and along Highway 35 uh, about near uh, Bayside. So that is the uh, current situation. Future Tracker shows that it diminishes with drier air filtering in overnight and tomorrow. Temperatures will be a little lower at night and we'll see uh, sunshine and lower humidity tomorrow and also on Sunday, as you can see here, lots of sunshine and pleasant temperatures under a uh, ridge of high pressure across the region and that will uh, hold true until later next week. So we are uh, looking better in that department. Satellite and radar show our frontal system has pulled up stationary in the Gulf. It actually moved through last night. Rain enhanced uh, out ahead of it yesterday. The cooler air out ahead of it allowed the front to come on in early with drier, cooler air filtering in. Still some moisture coming back on the backside of this from Mexico. So that is uh, what we're looking at right now. Activity with Maria and Lee in the Atlantic is not a problem. Overnight, 70 on the low, 88 for the high tomorrow. It's going to be a nice day, beautiful day here on Sunday. In spite of hitting 90, we start at 69. Haven't been in the 60s for a while. 71 and 91 Monday also looks good. And then scattered uh, showers and thunderstorms here Tuesday, especially Wednesday and into Thursday of next week. Some of this rain 